Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area and volume. This is standard 6.8D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the dimensions of a parallelogram, and they're given here in centimeters. And so we just need to find the area. Seems pretty straightforward. We don't even need to measure. They give us everything. There's just two things that are really going to be kind of tricky. First, what is the formula for area of a parallelogram? We know rectangle. We even know triangle. But what is the formula here? If we look at our mathematics chart, we're going to find it a section called area. Now here's the interesting thing. It's going to say parallelogram or rectangle. So either one of those, parallelogram or rectangle, actually has the exact same formula, BH. So this is your base. And this is your height. So the first step is to find the formula on the mathematics chart if you don't have it memorized. Now you might be wondering, how in the world can a parallelogram and a rectangle have the exact same formula? They're different shapes. Well, check this out. If I were to take this chunk right here, Okay, so let's say I cut off this little triangle part on the end. I'm going to cut it off, and I'm going to slide it over right there. Guess what I would make? Make a rectangle. So any true parallelogram, right, you could just take off one of the corners and move it to the other side, and you would have a nice little triangle right there. So that's why you can use the exact same formula base times height. So step one is to find the formula base times height. But the second tricky part, the base is easy, right? It's going to be six. The second tricky, and I say that with air quotes because it's not that tricky, what's the height? I've got two different measurements. Which one do I use? You notice I've got this dotted line in the inside, 4.5, and I've got the side here, 5.5. Well, I don't need this 5.5 unless I'm looking for perimeter. If I'm looking for the perimeter, then I definitely need that. But I'm not looking for the perimeter. I'm looking for the area, which means I need the height. Height on a shape here that does not have right angles is always going to have a dotted line on the inside. So that's why when we're looking at triangles like this, you're always going to see a dotted line. When we're looking at trapezoids, we're going to see little dotted lines like this, because you need a right angle. It needs to be perpendicular to the base in order for it to be the height. This is not perpendicular to the base. This is an obtuse angle, so it has to be a right angle. And so they give you this little dotted line with a little square saying this is a right angle. It's perpendicular, so this is our height. So that is what we need, the 4.5. And then once we do that, all we got to do is multiply the two. So let's do 4.5 times 6. We're going to pretend like it's 45 times 6. Forget the decimal. You don't need to line it up when we multiply. You only line up the decimals when you're adding or subtracting. With multiplication, you just ignore it. You pretend it's 45 times 6. So that's 30. And that's going to be 24, 27. Now you might be thinking, whoa, 270. That's a bit big. Well, once you're done multiplying, that's when you bring the decimal back in. You think, how many digits are behind the decimal in the factors? Well, I've got one digit behind the decimal here. I've got no digits behind the decimal here because that's just six. It's a whole number. There are no decimals. So I need one digit behind the decimal in my product to match the one digit behind the decimal in my factors. So I need to bring the decimal in one spot. And it's 27.0, which means we can just kind of drop that zero. Now that's looking a little bit better, 27. So you see our answer here is going to be H.